Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Awoowa where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we answer how to choose the right gun charger for your needs, what password managers the Soya Chinchow team uses and how to charge the Apple Magic Mouse. Really? <sighs> if any of you are wondering, uh, where is Lokman? Well, it's not because I fired him again, that's for sure. Uh, he just didn't turn up for work. Uh, I'm not sure, probably his wife beat him up or... I guess so. Anyway, Sophie, cue the intro. Wait, before we continue with the video, I have an important announcement to make. Soya Jinja is hiring! We are looking for driven, like-minded individuals to join our growing team. But wait, you might be wondering, why would I want to work here? Well, let me show you. You get to work here with some of the most incredible creatives. You get access to incredible studios like this and all of this cool equipment. Hey, I'm trying to work here, can you get out of here? What the? You also get free parking. So, are you interested? Hit the link below to see what positions we have available. The first question for this episode is regarding gun chargers. The question reads, I don't know how to choose a gun charger. I use three phones consisting of two Android phones that charge at 15 watts and 18 watts and an iPhone that charges at 20 watts. Do I need to buy the charger according to the wattage that the phone supports or can I just buy any charger? Like, if I add up all the wattage of the phones, I get a total of 53 watts. So does that mean I have to buy a charger that can output close to that value or how? Well, the output of the charger and whether you need a gun-based charger depends on how you're going to charge your devices. If you're going to charge them one at a time, then you should get a charger that matches the input of the highest wattage device, which in your case is the iPhone at 20 watts. So, this 20 watt power delivery or PD charger from Ugreen will do just the trick. Modern PD chargers are equipped with programmable power supply or PPS for short. This means that they can adapt their wattage based on the device's requirements. Therefore, in this case, the charger can lower its output to 18 watts and 15 watts when those Android phones are connected. On the other hand, if you're planning to charge all three devices at the same time, then you will need to buy a gun charger as only this type of charger can output high wattages while remaining compact. In your case, you will need a gun charger that can output more than 53 watts and this 65 watt gun charger from Ugreen is a good example. There are a total of 3 USB-C ports and 1 USB-A port. You can connect all 3 of your devices to any of these ports and the charger will automatically allocate the required wattage for each port. The links to check out these chargers will be down in the description. You can also check out my previous hour episodes where I recommended a gun charger for laptops and a compact 100 watt gun charger which I will link at the end of this episode. Next up, we have a question about password managers. May I know what password managers are you guys using? To answer this question, I went around the office and asked the team what password managers they are using. Both Amin and Alex are using 1Password. No, not 1Password as in like 1Password. Alex likes it for its ease of use, compatibility with Windows, web browsers, Android, iOS and iPadOS and he can quickly unlock the app using Face ID or fingerprint. Amin meanwhile appreciates the support for two-factor authentication for tighter security and the service is reasonably priced. Both had no complaints based on their experience with 1Password. In case you're interested, the service starts from $299 US per month if billed annually and you can check it out with the link in the description. Now, John being the hardcore Apple user that he is, chose to use iCloud Keychain. He likes it because he doesn't need to sign up for another service as it is baked into Apple's operating systems and it works seamlessly across his Apple devices. However, he did say that Apple's password manager does not play nice with Maybank's May app at the moment which goes the same for 1Password as well. Lastly, both Zamira and yours truly use the password manager built into Google Chrome. Both she and I like it because we don't have to download any additional software, plus it's free. Zamira does note that sometimes 
The password manager can be a little glitchy and not save the password or fills in the wrong credentials in the text field. I used to experience this occasionally but not anymore. Another thing that I like is that Safari on my iPad can access the usernames and passwords stored on Google Chrome once I authenticate with my fingerprint. If you're wondering what your favourite Soya Chinchao personality uses, Rory said he uses his brain because the upside is that it's free but the downside is that it forgets things sometimes. The final question for this episode is from my recent tutorial on TikTok about charging the Apple Magic Mouse. You did not even answer the question in this video. Waited till the end. Nothing. Just a rant. Right. Charging an Apple Magic Mouse is a very complicated and delicate operation. So, I need to show you how to charge it really carefully. Be right back. Now I'm ready to show you how to charge the Apple Magic Mouse. Okay, here we go. Okay. Apple Magic Mouse. Next, you're gonna need a lightning cable. And then, you're gonna take this lightning cable. That's how you charge an Apple Magic Mouse. A five minute charge returns nine hours of use, while a full charge takes about two hours. While it's charging, you cannot use the mouse. You cannot, the mouse just turns off, even the touchpad and the buttons turn off, so... Well, that concludes our episode for today. Ah. Ah. Remember to like our video if you liked it, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next Awa. Bye-bye! Okay. Now, what? Ah! Ah! Sakit! Ah!